it's time for another episode of the G Spot. Where your genitals tell it like it is. Today's show, How Do Women Get Pregnant? You probably think pregnancy happens when semen or pre-ejaculate gets into the vagina. But what happens after that is where there seems to be some confusion. It doesn't matter if you're on a chair or on a bed. Uh, on your feet or, or on your head. If it's your first time or your last. On a box or with a fox. If you're in a hot tub, if you douche afterwards, if you're bungee jumping, whether or not she has an orgasm. Or, 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 or in an airplane bathroom or like a beach in Spain. Now calm yes. down, Pete. Peter, calm down. Oh, sorry. I, I get a little excited. Oh, which uh, brings up another point. Even if a man pulls out before he ejaculates, a woman can still get pregnant. <clears throat> See? When we get all worked up, we squirt out a little bit of pre-ejaculate. Which can be enough to get a girl pregnant. And believe it or not, old Peter here doesn't even need to make it inside. <laughs> Say it ain't so. It's true. If semen gets anywhere on the vulva, even outside the vagina, the sperm can travel inside and get a woman pregnant. Whew. I better be careful with this stuff, huh? Could you throw that away already? <whistles> Lovely. So what happens then? Time to go inside and find out. Inside the vagina? <laughs> Calm down, Pete. You're leaking again. <sighs> We're using the vagina can. Oh. Hey, it's still pretty cool, huh? You might think that pregnancy happens right after sex. I know, Peter, that's not true. And if you use that buzzer again, I'm getting a catheter. Buzzer's gone. Thank you. As I was saying, pregnancy doesn't happen right away. The semen forms a pool in the vagina near the cervix. It's called the seminal pool. It's an indentation in the vaginal wall just below the uterus. Standing up won't empty the pool, and douching might actually push the semen into the uterus. Ah, the seminal pool. Sperm lounging around, waiting their turn to go. When they do go from the pool into the uterus, they go in waves. Banzai! Banzai! So, how long does it take to get pregnant? It could take up to six days to just fertilize an egg, and another six days to implant itself. But up to six days afterwards, the sperm can leave the pool and head on up through the uterus and into the fallopian tubes. Finally, they arrive. They hang out, they wait for an egg. If a woman is ovulating, an egg descends into the fallopian tube. If there are sperm waiting there, according to new research, the egg then decides which sperm gets to enter and fertilize it. Go! And now she's pregnant, right? Cut it out! <laughs> this is kind of fun. She's not pregnant yet. The sperm and the egg create a zygote, a one-celled combination of the sperm and the egg. Next, the zygote turns into a multi-celled pre-embryo. About four days later, it starts to implant itself into the wall of the uterus, which takes a couple more days. Pregnancy actually begins when the implanted pre-embryo starts releasing hormones that prevent menstruation. Which is why women miss their periods when they get pregnant, right? Exactly. Wow. Hey, I really learned something today. Well, don't think about it too hard, poor thing. You'll just give yourself a headache. Oh. That's it for tonight, folks. Hope to see you again soon right here at the G-Spot. Hey, you know, uh, Mina, all that talk, you know, really got me going. How about you? Uh? What doesn't get you going? Uh, you, want, you want to go back to my place? Huh? You do realize the microphones are still on? I in fact, no. No, uh, I did not know that. 